Uh, Brandon is very smart. Brandon is an excellent viola player. He is a world-class eater. The smartest guy you will know, although you will meet, extremely thoughtful, extremely nuanced, um, funny as hell, and dude can cook. It's a very co uh, collaborative relationship. I mean, we've split the position of being uh, in charge of our section, which is usually only two people. So we have to, you know, there's a great deal of moral hazard there, right? You gotta behave yourself. A lot of laughs, um, trying not to get fired, love working with him, and it's, yeah, it's a pleasure to come into work every day. This is something I didn't answer, actually, is I think we have an awesome section concept and execution of concept and, um, and sound. I described it as highly collaborative and I mentioned the idea of moral hazard in a section with <laughs> only two people, right? You gotta behave. He plays a wide, wide range of music and I, that is a tough one to say. I'm gonna just go out on a limb and say the Bach B minor mass. His interests are all over the map. I don't think that he would say that there's a favorite piece for him to play. To play, I went out on a limb and I said the Bach B minor mass. Bro, that's, yes, I would say that is right up there. I actually, I didn't know because of where your interests lie from, like, mm. they're all over the map. And I just could not pinpoint. There is a piece that I listen to that I pull out about once a year. Okay. And, and invest the 27 minutes in. And that's um, Morton Feldman's Rothko Chapel. Yeah, dude, no, I would not. <laughs> dude, you spend the time. It's, All right, okay. It will, it will pay you back. I was probably the one to South Korea that included Japan and South Korea. Oh man, anything, any place that has good food. I said the one to Japan and South Korea. Because um, that was a good eating tour, man. I think I, I didn't give a direct answer to this at all. Ali Nazik in Basingstoke. Right. Right. It was life changing. It was life changing. Yep. And how we were like on stage while the audience was applauding. Um, and we're like, dude. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat Turkish food, right? And we're calling out to yeah. Kieran. Kieran, hey, we're gonna go get Korean. Oh, it's not Korean. We're gonna go get Turkish food. <laughs> I don't know if it's a worse habit, but it's definitely a feature. He is always looking for a deal. <laughs> Trying not to get fired. <laughs> Oh, I, I simply said, trying not to get fired. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, we're, the thing is, we're pretty sarcastic guys, right? So, you know, like I said, we should try to keep it down low. And I said... Not spending more money. Right, <laughs> but, you know, what, what I said was, yeah, that you're always looking for deals. That's like... I, Maybe it's related to looking for a good deal. Because if you play the viola, orchestras need a lot of viola players. Not a lot of people want to play the viola. It's a good way to make a living. It's like, you're needed. Um, well, I th I, he had a really inspirational teacher in, um, in Lubbock, Texas. And I think she was like a super big influence on him. For me, you've painted the picture of Miss Schoenfeld. Mm, yeah. um, and how she was like a defining, I mean, almost like a mother figure that was such a, an overwhelming influence for you to, to push you over the edge to take up and go with the viola. Yeah. No, she, right? She saved my life in some yeah. meaningful ways. Yeah. So thank you, Ms. Schoenfeld, because yeah. the, the world is a better place with, well, with you as on viola, dude. And I said I didn't really know why. I think that's what I said. But I wasn't quite sure. I did point out that there's a practicality to playing the old because the orchestra's need a lot of them and nobody wants to play it. So well, they always make it up, right? Well, hey man, <laughs> seriously, I've been talking about good deals and, and, and <laughs> that is actually why I took up the viola. No way. For gigs. 
Right. Because I, was, I did all my schooling on violin. Yeah. And then I took up the viola at the age of 25. Like I was well out of school. And I was like, I, you know, I gotta get more gigs. I gotta make up more money. So I picked, started playing the viola and like immediately the, the gig started coming, so. He's from the South. I can see him playing the harmonica. I was like, man, you a boy from the South, you play the harmonica. <laughs> There's too many, because like we all have our favorites. I mean, we we all have the standard. Like it's gonna be, there'll be Bach, there'll be Mozart, Beethoven. I had a really hard time pinpointing, so I just mm. threw in the threw it in Beethoven. Just what a revolutionary. I don't think he was a super pleasant dude. No, to I'm... hang out with, right? So I mean, I think like, when, part... when the when the question comes up, like who would I, the first person I think of is Mozart. Because mm -hmm. he's such a he was, such a, a, party he was a party animal. Yeah, no, he liked to drink. It's good. Let's go. <laughs> I believe he owns two. I own three. Busted. I said two. Well, I have a Chinese viola that you've never a seen. A beater Chinese yeah. viola. Okay. <laughs> you know the guy actually doesn't eat out all that much. The guy loves uh, loves chicken shawarma. My favorite meal to eat out. I almost never eat out. This is the problem. Um, so uh, that's a tough one. I said the same thing that you, you don't eat out yep. at all. But I was like, dude likes to eat chicken shawarma. <laughs> I do like to eat chicken shawarma. That is I true. Do. It's important to eat things before you go on stage that make so you know how you're gonna feel. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's like, you're not going to have some kind of mystery feel, like you have the, the kimchi jjigae or whatever, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that's going to do, but the chicken shawarma is pretty good. I, I, like it's I a gotta, known quantity. It's a known quantity. <laughs> you're going to get this many calories, you're gonna, it's going to last that long, you're going to feel okay on the, yep. for the ride, so mm -hmm. that's part of it. Oh, raptors. No question. Leaves. But Blue Jays first. Leafs, definitely. Go Raptors! Right? They're terrible I'm right sure now. Sure, they are. The Leafs are awesome. The Leafs are awesome right now, so. Um, I think he would say, like a lot of us, that it's the rush you get from the audience, right? We're all a bunch of adrenaline junkies, basically. It's exactly what I said that Brandon, I said that you would, that it's the thrill of the audience, right? It's the, it's the, it's the adrenaline. And you said, man, that was like, it brought me back to being like in youth orchestra when I was 14 years old. Yeah. Just a thrill. Yeah.